Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the Imperial Balloons channel where we strive to make you feel like royalty during all your special occasions. My name is Aisha and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these marble balloons that I used in last week's setup. I did run into some issues but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. First off, you're going to need some clear balloons. These are the outer balloons and then you're going to need an inner balloon. The color doesn't matter. I'm using gold today. And then I'm going to be using two different paints. This is a little bit on the cheaper side and then I had bought this one which was a little bit more expensive. You're also going to need a balloon expander. You can get these off of Amazon and then also a balloon pump. Any regular pump will do. I'm also using a paper plate and then I'm writing the names of each paint down on it so that I can differentiate which one I'm using. Now the reason that I'm using two paints today is because I wanted to test out a theory. When I did the setup a couple of weeks ago, I blew up my balloons a day in advance like I always do and when I came downstairs the next day, the balloons, the marble balloons had this grayish wash over them because of the way the paint dried. Now since the paint that I used for that setup wasn't of the best possible quality, I decided to buy a more high-end paint and see if that would make any difference. Now I'm going to show you what I feel like is the best way to get the paint inside of the balloon. You're going to take your expander and put the mouth of your balloon over it and then you're going to push the neck of your balloon down until you reach all the way down into the base and only then you're going to start expanding your balloon. This way you won't get a lot of paint inside of the neck unless that's what you want but that was not the look that I'm going for. And I like to apply my paint with a brush instead of putting it straight out of the bottle because I feel like this gives me a little bit more control of how much paint I add because you can definitely add in too much and then the marble effect will kind of start to fade. And you can also add too little and then you'll see that a lot of the inner balloon is still showing. But again, that could be the look that you're going for. This is a marble technique. It's not a one size fits all. So I would definitely play around with the amount of paint that you add and then just see what you feel looks the best and is the look that you are going for. As you saw a second ago, I stuffed the inner balloon inside of the outer one and now I'm just spreading the paint around to get a good coating. And then I'm going to blow up my balloon to see the marble effect that I've created. Now for this specific balloon, I would definitely add a little more paint. Again, unless this is the look that you're going for. If you just want the marble at the top or you don't want it to be too overbearing, then a little bit goes a long way. It definitely depends on the style that you're going for. So again, just play around with the amounts of paint you add. You can maybe even add another color in there. Like I think that would be so dope if you have two colors of paint in there and then create the marble effect with that. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds really cool. So for this particular balloon, I used more paint and I love the way this one came out. This is actually one of my favorites. I just feel like the marble effect is really showing. So this one has more paint and then this one has a little bit less. And then this is actually a cluster from the setup that I did in last week's video. And I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, what I'm talking about when I say it has like a grayish hue slash undertone like the paint doesn't really dry fully black but it just has this this gray wash inside of it or over it i don't know how to call it but yeah i'm not gonna lie they still look fantastic i really love the way this came out and i specifically decided not to buy marbled balloons i really wanted to diy it and i think it came out pretty good I used acrylic paint for this so maybe that was the issue maybe I should use a different type of paint but overall I'm again I'm happy with the results that I got so at the end of the day I feel like the difference between the two was very minimal so just go with whatever paint you have available now 
if anybody knows why this happens and what type of paint maybe i should use for it not to happen in the future definitely leave it in the comment section below i would love to know but that is all i have for you guys now if any of you decide to make this as well you can definitely share it with me on social media you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac i would love to see what you guys create and yes thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to the channel leave a like and a comment tell me what you think about the video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time